You're one of the few Labor MPs who have raised concerns about the AUKUS nuclear-powered submarines. They'll be uh, stationed uh, and embraced, really, by Western Australia, very close to your own electorate of Fremantle. How worried are you about the nuclear waste storage issue related to the AUKUS program? Well, the, the first part that's being dealt with at the moment deals with low-level radioactive waste. Low-level radioactive waste is stored in um, a number of medical facilities around Australia because it's a byproduct of nuclear medicine. And nuclear medicine is an incredibly important part of our health system. It goes back to what I was saying before. I mean, the, the idea that the opposition try to suggest is that people's attitude to nuclear is, is like a flavour of ice cream is completely wrong. Nuclear technology has its place. It has a really significant place in our health system and we manage low level nuclear waste and that's what's being talked about at the moment. We have the capacity to do that. So you're not worried at all about the nuclear powered submarines being based so close to you in WA? Well, I, I mean, as you acknowledge, I've expressed my concerns about the acquisition of nuclear propelled submarines. Um, some of those concerns or the extent to which I'm not convinced that's the best option for Australia uh, are related to the nuclear propulsion part, but some of those concerns are related to other aspects of it. I think uh, it is healthy that we have uh, an open and searching conversation about uh, an acquisition project like that. Um, I'm a backbencher, I'm a, a parliamentarian who's sought to be part of that conversation. I think that's a healthy thing, and it's certainly uh, something that we've seen a lot more of under the Labor government than we, than we did uh, under the Morrison government. Just finally, you haven't mentioned three-headed fish or two-headed blinky bills like some of your colleagues have. They've been tweeting pictures online talking about the nuclear debate. Is that a bit immature, doing to, to lift the tone of the debate and actually have a serious conversation about this? Well, look, debates take all kinds of colours, shapes and, and forms. Uh, it's very hard when you, when you have a sort of a scam proposition that's been put forward, a cartoonish, ridiculous absurd stunt, uh, a one-page press release that says we're going to have seven nuclear reactors in Australia. It's very hard uh, to not respond to that with a bit of um, Australian good humour, uh, but it is deadly serious. I mean, as I said before, if for some reason um, Peter Dutton was able to inflict that future on us all, um, the costs would be would be absolutely enormous. And and I guess I'd, I'd leave you with the, the final point. Because we don't talk about nuclear uh, as a genuine prospect here in Australia for all of the good reasons, we perhaps are capable of being gulled into believing that nuclear is actually happening elsewhere. I mean, nuclear is in decline worldwide. It peaked uh, as a proportion of global energy in 1996. Uh, last year, nuclear energy in France was at the level that it had previously been in 1990. It was a 25-year low. In the US, we had 440 gigawatts of renewables uh, added to the global grid uh, last year. We saw a decline of one gigawatt of nuclear last year. It is a 70-year-old technology that, that is in decline. The idea that we'd want to go down that path uh, in Australia is, is just bananas. Josh Wilson, really appreciate you joining us. Your views on what is such a controversial issue at the moment and will be all the way to the next election. Thanks for your time. Thank you.